Hey guys, this is Paul from Arizona. He brought his mother out at the same time. She got treated. He's a chronic self-adjuster, won't stop. Back pain brought him out. He hurts so bad, vertigo. His stomach's all messed up when he eats. He has to go to the bathroom right away. He has tried to go to other chiropractors. Five he's gone to, and none of them has helped him. I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. So he came out, he showed us his pain. It's right here in his back. He can't hold a camera. He shoots film for a living and he's dying. We took some x-rays, you can see he has a block vertebra, kind of like AS. We treated him. I never felt an adjustment so deep. My name is Paul Serna, I'm here from Arizona and I'm 32 years old and I'm a videographer, wedding videographer. And what's your uh, website? Yeah, uh, it's Paul Serna Films. Well, I'm here because uh, my back has been in so much pain for uh, about seven years. So, you know, the pain is so much that I even thought about, you know, leaving my profession because, you know, that's the only, that's my only uh, job. And, and for me not be able to, to do it without do pain, it, it sucks. Without yeah. pain, it sucks. He's only 32 years old, guys. Well, my pain uh, mostly is right you here. Turn around, Trump. Yeah, my pain is around this area right here. Yep. And it feels, it feels like a burning sensation, burning, uh, numbing sensation. Uh, so it's 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 just uh, so bad that um, you know it's it's very uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, and it hurts when he holds his camera. Obviously, yes. Uh, when he edits, sits behind the camera, edits. He also has some neck pain that's starting up with this too. It's the base of his neck, the the hump on his back right here is starting to hurt mm -hmm. too. He's not getting relief from the other chiropractors he's gone to, yeah. and it's interfering with his work. It gets worse when I work, obviously, because of the pressure that I'm I'm adding. You know, carrying the camera, carrying a gimbal, you know, monopod, tripod. But it also affects me uh, even just by doing my hair or even washing dishes, you know, yeah, so simple tasks. Yeah, simple tasks, that's yeah. the crazy part. Brushing his teeth, he said, hurts. Mm -hmm. But every time I eat, I have the need of throwing uh, out phlegm. Uh, every, like every time I eat, no matter what I eat, uh, I always have that um, need of doing that. He says he actually is embarrassed because he doesn't want to cough on phlegm on somebody because yeah. it's so strong of a If I'm eating reaction. something, if I'm eating something at a restaurant and someone says a joke, <laughs> I better not laugh because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really crazy. So I get dizzy um, uh, randomly when uh, when I turn to other people, when I look at other people. And it also happens when uh, when I'm eating. Like uh, I guess when I'm chewing, if it's su a little hard, it makes it worse. You know, I get super dizzy. Um, bowel movements also interesting that when he sits yeah. and he eats, he says he has to go to the, uh, number two right away. He goes every day. Yeah. But he goes, it's really, really, really connected to his food. I'm actually embarrassed to say this, but uh, I'm always self-adjusting probably almost maybe two to three times per every 30 minutes. So not, I, I self-adjust self my neck, my back, my knees for years. For years, I can't stop. Can't stop. Can't now, stop. tell us the three, the three different. Oh, no, five different chiropractors you've been to. Tell us about the chiropractors. Okay, so yeah, I've been to about five different chiropractors. Uh, the first one I ever went to, uh, he didn't take any X-rays. He just uh, told me to lay down on the on the on the little bed, and he just adjusted me, neck, you know, full body, and everything. The other three that I went to, or four that I went to, they didn't take X-rays as well, and they only adjusted my neck and my back. The last one I went to, they they did take x-rays. They never showed me the x-rays, but they, they took the x-rays. And uh, they adjusted my neck, my back, my knee. And they also gave me some massage with some uh, tools. But the, the, the worst part, or at least I think it's the worst part, is they, they actually injected me stuff in the back. Oh, you didn't tell me that. If they're going to use any kind of medication on you, they're not chiropractors. Again, stay away from the ones that put hot packs on your back, the ones that put those electric, electric stims yeah, on your back. And they gave me those electric yeah, things yeah. for the back. Uh, again, they all go hand in hand. All these chiropractors do the same thing. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope that these chiropractors that are watching this right now consider actually using their hands to get people better. Because these are miracles, guys. These are miracles. Okay, so. You know, first of all, you know, um, I have faith that I can get better. Absolutely. I made a trip of six hours just to be here. Gotcha. And um, I don't take it lightly. You know, I'm yeah, here I'm excited. just I'm excited. to get better. How much pain in your back there at all? Uh, no, just pressure. Okay, can't touch the floor, go and stand up. Okay. Back like this. How about that? No pain. No pain? No. Low back with your neck, look at the floor please. How about that in the neck? Uh, no pain. Look at the ceiling. How about that? No pain. Gotcha. And then uh, keep your feet right there, go ahead and squat to the ground please. Like this? Yep. Okay. Any pain in your knees, your back? Uh, not at the moment. Yeah, but you guys can hear him self-adjust. He popped right there. So, yeah, yeah, I heard. I feel the pressure in my back really bad. Okay, so while the pressure in your back right now, how much is it right now? 
I would say about an eight. An eight. X-rays. Uh, interesting. Um, really, really bad reverse curve in your neck. Yes. Really yeah, bad. Man. Gotcha. <laughs> and uh, some scoliosis, slow back. Not as bad. He's actually worse than his mother. Um, uh, his spine looks pretty healthy. Not a lot of arthritis, except, which I don't know if the other chiropractors told you this, you have a block vertebra in your upper C2, C3. The bones are sort of fused together. They're kind of interesting fused together because mm -hmm. it looks like they're separated and that they're fused, but it almost looks like ankylosing spondylitis, but it's not because it's only in C2, C3. So his reverse curve is pretty pronounced and it's C4 is the apex. We're gonna adjust right through C4. He's gonna feel a shitload better here. But again, the limitation is that block vertebra. I'll point arrows to it, check it out. Look it up online, I'll put some references to that stuff so you guys check it out. Okay, we got his x-rays here. Two millimeter imbalance and 12 degree scoliosis. Here we have five millimeter right short leg, 11 degree scoliosis. Here we have significant neck reversal. We call this a kyphosis, three quarter atlas wear, terrible. Here's the congenital anomaly, block vertebra, C2, C3, looks like AS. And we have poor posture with constipation. This thing is really out. And the reason it's so much worse than most people is because of that block vertebra. His body's adapting to the pressure in his neck. Yeah. Oh my God, that's, I never felt an adjustment so deep. That's what she said. <laughs> oh man, honestly, I went to so many chiropractors and that was that was way way more relaxing. You could feel my hand go into your neck almost. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, I guess it's true. You know, the the Thayer method. <laughs> it worked. You can see his eyes. He's really nervous now. His eyes are twitching. Good. Right through the joint. You can feel that. There is a lot of resistance there, by, by the way, guys. Just reminding Paul not to twist or turn or he will undo my work. Let's check in to see how he's doing. What do you mean you feel emotional in a good way? I don't know, like in, a, like in a good way, you know, like good things are happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of times people have physical ailments because of emotional ailments. Yes. And so they both go hand in hand. When I release your physical, a lot of times it releases the emotional. Mm -hmm. And you see a lot of my videos, people cry on those videos. Yeah. They don't come in and think they're going to cry. They just do because all of a sudden all this comes out of them. Yeah. Yeah. So anything else you feel right now? Um, I mean, right now, you know, I feel very relaxed. I don't feel dizzy. I feel like like you took off a lot of weight, you know, or pressure from, from my body. Can you moment. hear? Can you, I'm going to tell you what I see right now. What I hear. You mm -hmm. can breathe better already. I feel relaxed, yeah. No, because uh, before he talks a little bit like shallow breathing. But he's, you can see it, you can hear him taking deeper breaths. Anyways, I can feel, I can see that. So I'm gonna walk in a second, okay. see how you do, okay? Stay right there. You know guys, recalibration is very important. Gotta walk, gotta spread that love through the body. Right now, I feel my body and my neck uh, very light. Um, feel like you took off a lot of weight or pressure that, I, that it's been accumulating for so many years. Uh, so far, so good, you know. Now, the most important thing you came in with the pain and pressure and whatever the knot you have in your back, that was an eight out of 10 a second ago. Right now, I think it's probably about a five. So it did, it did go lower. Yeah, yeah it did I, go lower. I didn't adjust it at all, right? No, you did not touch my back. Honestly, I feel a little bit emotional because uh, it's it's like, you know, it, it really feels, my, uh, my body really feels good, you know, after that first adjustment, like, you know, I don't know, I just have no words. Like, I just feel so much better. Is it emotional because you feel better or is it emotional because you think we're actually making progress for the first time? Yeah, I mean, I, I think like we're gonna make a lot, of, uh, a lot of progress and this is only the first adjustment. It's hard in the, in the sense that, you know, like you said, you know, we want change, but we don't want to change. So that's the true words have never been said. That's exactly right. So, you know, like I want to like for I'm going to I'm going to speak for myself. You know, sure. I want to I want to feel better. But I expect just to, you know, for you to do something and like me not do anything in return. You know, it applies in, in everything. You know, if you want to get better, <laughs> you have to do all the things. If you want to get wealthy, you have to, you know, you know, hustle for you. You, you, know, hustle. you can't stay the same. You know? No, no. But why is it so hard for you to make changes here? You think it's hard because uh, you know we're hard headed and we're you know we're used to old habits. Yeah, old habits. It's huh? Old, old habits, habits die yeah. hard. 
you go to other chiropractors they they say hi to you they adjust you and then they say goodbye you know for mm -hmm. the most part so you give a ton of information and i think that makes you different and unique okay. actually i don't feel emotional like uh you know before yeah i feel a little bit of tingling like on my cheeks yeah your face is changing you just the sensation in your body yeah yeah, yeah it just yeah, feels yeah. weird yeah mm -hmm. Oh, that felt really deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, deeper than usual, right? Yeah, yeah, that felt good to me too. 